What's going on Salt Nation? Jeff from MadHattersReef.com and today we're going to be taking a look at how to add fish to your aquarium. Alright guys, so if this is your first time being here, this is where I talk about everything saltwater aquarium related. So if you love saltwater aquariums like I do, hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at how to add fish to your aquarium. And really what the backbone of this is going to be is taking a shipment of fish and receiving them and putting them in your aquarium. We're not going to get into quarantining fish in this video. That's going to be in another video down the road. But for today, we're going to be taking a look at what we need to do when we get that shipment and how to get them into the tank. First things first, you need to be there when the fish arrive. So it needs to be done on a day that you're going to be home. The second portion of it is you can't really play around. These fish have been in these bags for the last 24 hours. So we need to make this as streamlined as we possibly can. So when you open up your box, you're gonna to wanna to take a look at the fish, every individual one, and make sure that there's no dead on arrivals. At that point, if you had a dead on arrival, you'd want to take a picture and then file a claim with whatever company that you ordered the fish from. Once you have gone through and inspected all the fish, it's time to float them in the aquarium. And this is done to make sure that the water in the bag meets the water in the aquarium so there isn't a temperature shock because you got to keep in mind that these fish come from a very consistent environment. So it's very important to make sure that any changes that are made are made very gradually. Once you have the styrofoam container emptied out, you can actually use it to acclimate the fish. A uh, very important step though is you wanna make sure that you lift one end of the styrofoam cooler to make sure that all the fish go to kind of one side. Cause if you didn't do that, you're basically, you know, you might end up with a quarter of an inch of water and that's not gonna be enough to have the fish in there uh, comfortably. So once you have the styrofoam cooler in place, it's time to get a siphon going. And really all that we're using here is a piece of airline tubing and a air valve, a single air valve. And you start a siphon by sucking on it and make sure, remove it from your mouth before it actually uh, gets salt water in there because that's not a good time. And I've done that quite a few times. It's a rite of passage in the saltwater aquarium hobby. So once you have your drip going and it's dripping maybe one per second, that's about what you're looking for. Anything more than that is going to be too much. And anything less than that is going to be too little. And the problems that you'll run into if it's not enough is the temperature within the container will actually cool down faster than the aquarium. It won't have enough water being introduced to it to keep that or maintain that temperature. So you'll start to run into uh, temperature related issues with the fish. So once you have your styrofoam container set up, you have your drip going, it's now time to start putting the fish into the container. Uh, and that's as simple as just cutting the bags and gently pouring them into the container. And like I said earlier, you wanna make sure that there's enough water in there to make sure that they can swim properly because if they're all cramped up or laying sideways, it's just gonna cause them more stress and you'll more likely have uh, a fish die in that situation. And like I said earlier, it's very important that you're home the day of delivery because these fish in ideal situations should be drip acclimated within the first hour of them hitting your doorstep. It's also very important to make sure you set up the night before so you have everything you need to streamline the process and make it a lot less stressful for you and the fish. <music>
So those fish I had acclimate overnight, and when I got up in the morning, I didn't turn on the camera. So really, all the only piece that you're missing there is the adding them to the actual aquarium, which I used a empty water bottle uh, with the top cut off and holes pinned into the bottom so that the water would drain out and just gently add them to the aquarium. This right here, I've shown this in other videos. This is a five gallon bucket that has a two gallon bucket inside with holes drilled into the bottom. And again, using the airline tubing with an air valve, creating a drip every second. And this is my preferred method of drip acclimating fish for an aquarium. I tend to use this when I'm adding fish to my display tank. Uh, just so the water that is going into this bucket doesn't get a lot of contamination and that sort of thing in it. So the first part of this video, you are seeing me acclimate fish for a quarantine tank setup. This is me taking fish out of quarantine and adding them to my display tank. So over the course of a month to two months, depending on the care level needed for the fish to make sure that they're healthy, this is about how long it takes for me to actually add fish to my display tank. And if you guys want to check out my quarantine tank system build, there is a link in the description below. What the quarantine tank system has afforded me was the opportunity to acclimate a large amount of fish at one time. Now here's a better idea of how the acclimation bucket system works. Holes are drilled into the bottom of the two gallon bucket when I pull it out all the water drains out. So none of the water that came from the quarantine tank or the water from shipment or even the water from the fish store will not go into the display tank. And here's a shot of the acclimation bucket system at work. Basically the bucket fills up and as I pick up the two gallon bucket, all the water runs out of the bottom. And the only issue that I have with this, which was a suggestion from a viewer, was to sandpaper the bottom of the two gallon bucket to make sure that the fish aren't getting damaged in any way. So if you guys want to check out how I made this acclimation bucket system or my quarantine system, there's links down below. So in closing, my question to you guys is, what is your little secret, your little tip that makes you more successful with adding fish to your aquarium? Leave a comment down below. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. And if you would like to take a look at this shirt right here, which is only going to be available until July 31st, there is a link in the description below. I'll see you guys next time right here with a brand new video.